Hey everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about an easy way to create sub items in Make and Integromat. It can be a little bit of a challenge if you don't use this trick. I'm Jim, the Monday Man. Let's take a look. Here we are in a very simple scenario that I've created to show you how to work with sub items. Sub items are actually a separate board that are connected to your main board in a specific way. In this module, create a sub item, I'm actually going to define the board ID not as the sub item board, but as the main board ID. That's the way this module works. Normally, you would probably map this from a previous module, but in this case, I just picked one just for an example. You have your sub item name as it sits, create a sub item in this board on this item. We can come in here and we can add column IDs and column types, but we get absolutely no help. I actually have to know my column IDs and the column types of the columns that I want to update. So here's an easier way to do that. If you just leave this blank, so we get out of there, we can add and update values of a specific item module. We come in here, we want to select the sub item for our main board. Generally speaking, you can come in here and grab that in your list. What we wanna do is actually use the ID that was just created from this previous module. So we're just gonna click on that. Here's the great reason to do that. This is obviously going to use two operations, so there are some downsides. But this becomes much, much easier to select your column IDs and you don't have to worry about type. So let's just go into this due date, select now for that, and we'll include the time. We're gonna add that and let's see, we'll add one other. We'll do task status and we're gonna pick a label and the label we're gonna do is, well, we'll do working just for, argument's sake. So if you've got 50 columns that you want to update in this newly created sub item, this is a heck of a lot easier than doing it here. Now, if there's just one or two, this is fine. You know, you just go look up the column IDs and the column types and make sure that those match. But if you have 50, you certainly don't want to do that. And this is a much, much easier way it's worth the extra operation. All right, that's all there is to it. An easy trick to make your life a whole lot better if you're creating sub items. All right, till next time, I'm Jim, the Money Man.